What are some valid reasons women leave men? We'll start here. No, let's not start here. We started over there last time. Right. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, but it goes the other way. So it starts here, then goes oh, back this way. I would leave a man. Yeah, um, valid reasons women leave men. Uh, Too aggressive. Um, the man's too aggressive? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Disrespectful. All right. Lots of reasons. <laughs> Um, for me, it's uh, about having like the same ambition that I have. So lack of ambition. So okay. if you don't have like the ambition that I have, mm. then there's nothing there. Like okay. you're, you have no ambition. So I guess I'm like to have ambition. Okay. Mm. Right. For me, my simple. biggest thing is honesty, no matter what. Like, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, even if you want to do, you know, this side or the third, the biggest thing is that we can communicate about it or you, you could at least be honest about it or the ability to have a difficult conversation when it is merited, which often happens in relationships. So a man who cowers from that, who isn't strong enough to have those difficult conversations, especially when the ball's in his court, like, immediately that is a loss of respect. And when you don't respect a man, you can't maintain a relationship. So that's what I would say. I agree Does your guy tell you that he's running around having sex with other girls? Um, to not the current relationship, but talking about my ex, yes. No, my... I'm talking about the guy right now. No, my the guy. <laughs> he hasn't mentioned anything. He has not. I have kind of assumed that he has. But you know, the... but, but you know. Yeah, I mean, he's a millionaire. He's a he's a huge clout. He does all these things. Obviously, I'm not ignorant to that. Yes. Yeah for sure but, but he's never about, been he's never like told you though no but for me that's not a thing what i'm talking about is my four-year relationship before that where if, i told the guy back three you, times hold on, hold on. if you asked him do you think he would tell you um I, I brought it up jokingly i'm like you have international hearts though right <laughs> like we were we were just like drinking and yep. being silly <laughs> And he was like, no, no, like no. I'm serial monogamous <laughs> like you. I, I really think he's lying. Honestly, right, so I he think, lied. I, I <laughs> so think he broke he your rule. <laughs> he broke your rule. I, but I don't know that. Versus my ex-boyfriend, it was very apparent that he lied straight to my face about things I would have otherwise been accepting of. From, so, you yeah. know, the ability to not be able to even bring things forward when you're in a serious... Like, this guy that I'm seeing now, we're not... He hasn't asked me to be his girlfriend officially. So I, I don't hold the same standards against him as I did the guy I was in a relationship with for four years, right? But, but if you did, you wanted to tell you the truth. Yes, and that's probably a... a well, convert... he already kind of lied. He said, no, I'm a serious monogamous. <laughs> that's fine. We'll, we'll move on. She doesn't... <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. But okay, well, what about you? So... Uh, valid reasons to leave a guy. So I will say, like, the respect. If he doesn't respect my beliefs, my opinions, you know, if he doesn't respect me outside when he goes out, like, it's nothing to do, you know? So. He has to respect your opinions? Yeah, of course. Mm. What if your opinions are absurd? <laughs> I mean, they are not, so it's okay. I mean... How many genders are there? <laughs> what? How many genders are there? What do you mean with that? How, How many, many genders, genders are so, there? Hey, hey, yeah. what no. Is Men? Woman? Anything else? Mm -hmm. No, just like, just try. Just skip the question. Yeah, All right, please. we can ask it in Spanish. Do we have a translator? Yeah, please, here? please. Yes, sure. I understand English, but okay. How many genders are there? Cuántos géneros? Two. I would say no. Two. Okay. All right. Uh, She's normal. Yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, that's just a, that's an easy one. I just had to ask that one. Um, Spain is pretty oh liberal. Um, okay, so respect your opinions. Okay, <laughs> that's the big one for you. Okay, what about you? So first Valid of all, reason to leave a man. Okay, uh, when he's cheating, it's like the biggest like turn off okay and then cheating yeah cheating and okay. then when he doesn't have like the same mindset i uh, as i have mm -hmm. like you want you want him to have the same mindset as you like similar or even like a little bit higher because i want to like inspired. grow and get inspired so like a mentor yeah something so, like that so like when, teach when you. He, yeah 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 when he's like above me older more mature success that's not what she said though. Learn no, from somebody. No. Bring her. she said she wants but someone like, with the same mindset as her it doesn't have or to, he doesn't have to be like older but like the mindset like he wants to be someone or like has some ambition yes ambition ambition that's wait are you said, like a feminine Spain woman said hmm? do you consider yourself a feminine woman i would say so but like not really like i am a feminine like i mean it's either you are you're not i am i am so you would want a guy to be feminine like you, because you said you want a similar mindset. But I want to, I want to, I want to have some mentor who will, like guide me through the life. So you want him to have an opposite man a mindset that's you then? Not the opposite, but like, no, not the opposite. Well, if you're, are you a feminine woman or not? I am. So then, wouldn't you want a guy that's masculine? Yes. So that's opposite. 
but uh, mindset i mean in a in a way that he would like <laughs> yeah so you realize that what you said like, doesn't make sense now opposite it's okay i mean it 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 Men, doesn't make sense. Wait, men and women. I mean, I mean, one is just saying, I want a guy that has the same mindset as me, and I'm like, okay, well, are you a feminine girl? But I mean, kind I of, mean, yeah. I'm like, all right, so you want a feminine man or you want a masculine man? Which one is it? Yeah, I'm but confused. I don't mean mindset in this kind of thing, but uh, the mindset like with the growing, growing like. Okay. Huh. Ambition, ambition, not but like. She meant to say like, ambition, but she's said it. Yeah, 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 ambition. You ambition. just want a guy who's more motivated than you. Yes, motivation and like this stuff, not mm -hmm. like motivation. Yeah, yeah so of course yeah. you want to be motivated. You want to be motivated, of course. That's true. Okay. Exactly. That's true. What about you? With uh, that Duke? Valid reason to leave a guy. Um. Okay. Definitely loyalty being number one. Um. But also, you know. Just or when we say loyalty, um, just so I clarify here, are you talking about loyalty both sexually and with resources? Yes. Okay, like, so he can only have sex with you and only spend money on you. Exclusively, yes. <laughs> Correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't yeah. share. Also, um, another one would be like, how do I put it? Like mooching almost, like trying to be like, like I'm his mom and I have to take care of him and I have to like do everything for so him. So you want a provider? Yeah, yes and no. Like, I like to be independent, but I mean, I would like somebody that can also be a breadwinner, too. Like, I, it's not just me, and I'm not here to baby you like your mother. Like, you're a grown ass man, take care of your fucking self. I'm gonna take care of you, too, and respect you, but I shouldn't be like the main person that takes care of you. You don't know, like, I don't know how so to So, you want him to terms. be the breadwinner? I want us both to be the breadwinner. There only has to be one breadwinner, hence the word winner. Mm. Why can't we yeah. both? I mean, realistically, Bruh. yes, the man. Yes, the man. Okay, realistically. So realistic. there's a reason why it's called winner. <laughs> All right, whatever. So for a winner okay. to exist, that means there must be a loser. Or... Somebody has to lead. Okay, well, obviously, I would want the man to lead, yes. Okay. 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 So In other want... aspects, though, like... She could still make her money, is what you're saying. Yes, I would like to be independent and feel like I have my own independency, but, like, I don't want to feel like... Yes, they I die. don't want to feel like I'm your fucking mother and I have to literally baby you, have to take so care of you. So, in other words, like... his money is your money and your money is, is your, your money. money. Correct. No, I mean, That's I, well, yeah. literally what it boils down to. Yeah. 100%. You want him to be a breadwinner, but you also want to be independent. That is the definition of okay, your yeah. money is we'll our money. Okay, yeah. Let's put it that way. We'll make it short and simple. Sure. Yeah. So, how much money does a man have to earn to be a breadwinner in your eyes? Mucho. Per year. Per year. Mucho. Mucho. Can you let her answer, please? I'm just kidding. How much do you have to earn per year? Or you could say monthly, whatever is easier for you to comp uh, compute mathematically. I mean, oh my God. If, I don't know. He, I just want him to have a good job that takes care of paying bills there's money for us to travel and how much is that for you oh. per year ladies be quiet let her come up with her own answer I please i don't fucking know what, i mean if you're influence. making six figures great that's fucking wonderful 100k a year you know i mean that'd on. be fucking wonderful like yeah <laughs> great but if not like realistically us, i don't know like give the us what average... you want give us what you want for a breadwinner because clearly you have a, a, a mindset where it's like well i mean sorry you have a an image in your head where you want the guy to be loyal and be a breadwinner at the same time. So I'm just curious, what is that? Okay, he's got to be rich. Okay, Come on, we're Maya, just going to put it like Maya. that. You're smart, He's got to be rich. Well. Okay. I, I just, I don't go after money first. I'm just saying, like, it would be great if, like, you had money. Yes, like, okay. be a breadwinner. But, if you like, had a figure in your head that would maintain your lifestyle, what would I be? 100K. 100K? Mm. So that's um, roughly $8,000 a month. Is that enough for you? Mm -mm. To support you and uh, and no, him. No, no. Okay. So no. what is it per month that you need then? <laughs> Let's go by month Roughly. since year doesn't work here. All right. Clearly, he would have to be making anywhere from like 20k or above. So he's got to make roughly 240 thousand dollars a year bare minimum for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. And you want him to be loyal with his resources and sexually to you. Mm -hmm. Only. 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 Okay. Interesting. All right. What about I've you? I had it. So. You lost okay. it. He gone over. Oh, I didn't lose it. You I did. dropped it. Oh, oh, he did. So, okay. he did. Clearly, okay, he wasn't okay. the one then. So why, why, why'd you leave him then? If he had if the, the. Um, it was really big on religious review or views. Like we didn't have the same. Like I was trying to be very supportive of his religion. He wasn't trying to be supportive of mine. Um, what was his religion? What was his? Muslim. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna acquiesce to you ever. I, I'm not asking. I'm not asking him to, but it was just like, if I'm being respectful of your views, your beliefs, I'm not asking you to convert to mine. 
I'm just saying, like, just be respectful about it. You know what I mean? And it would just be a disrespectful argument every time. And it was like being disrespectful to my family. Like, he would create conversations with my family that would be very fucking disrespectful. So it's like, I get it. If my family can respect your religion, just kind of, you know, put your views to the side and be neutral. And it wasn't like that. What was the disrespect? Um, okay, so... Was this before or after the OnlyFans? Or during? Mm. This was before. Okay, okay well, so that's maybe together, a different story. And then you guys broke up. Then you did the OF after. Mm -hmm. Just to have a timeline. Okay. And then he was making this kind of money, and he just didn't respect, I guess, Christianity? Yeah, he just didn't respect, like, my views and all of that. And he pretty much told me that I needed to convert to his if I wanted to Were you, like, a devout Christian? Well, I've always been. I was born and raised... Um, well, I was born and raised Catholic. I okay. go back and forth between both because of the church reasons. Um, but pretty much, like, he just wasn't respectful about it and told me that if we wanted to be together, that I needed to convert to his religion and only his religion and that I can't believe in the Bible, I can't believe in this. What was his religion? Muslim. She said oh. it before. Yeah. Okay. So, again, I'm not disrespecting his religion. Okay. I just, you know, I if this is what I believe in, you know, I'm going to respect what you believe in, and it should just be respectful on both ends. You just mm -hmm. wanted to come in respect for religion. Yes. Okay. And it mm. just wasn't like that. Did you guys have a conversation about that there? Yes, multiple times. Like... And, like, he would get very <laughs> aggressive about it and start fucking throwing shit and turn into a psychopath. And I'm like, bro, it's really not that, like, serious. Wasn't that a good indication? That's probably the That's right. You're fucking left him. mad right. low, yo. Holy shit, she's just loud. Oh my god. Yeah. But okay. again, that's why I literally left him because <laughs> I'm not going to be in an abusive relationship with somebody to try to push me to do something that I don't want to do and then you're going to disrespect me on other levels. You know what I mean? That's what you call unequally yoked. Yes. That's what you call that. So it wasn't because like other reasons, you know, he was loyal and everything was great, but it was just that aspect of like, we can't grow with each other because you just are an okay. asshole about it, you know? Mm. We got you. What about you? Um, it's never it's never one reason. I believe that good women stay with men even if they mess up a billion times. But then they'll leave once they see it's not just one or two. It's a hundred, <laughs> I think. Personally, right, I think so. That what's a valid reason then of the hundred? A valid reason of the one hundred that you have, yes, to leave. Being a hypocrite. Being mm. a hypocrite. Okay. I hate fake. <laughs> um, do you think that everything a woman can do, a man can do, and vice versa? No, no. So does that really apply hypo hypocrisy? Yeah, we could be hypocrites, women, but I'm. I'm no, saying no, no. But I'm. <laughs> oh. So I asked you, like, do men and women abide by the same rules? And you said no. No, 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 no. You so, guys, you, like when men leave women? No, no. Because you said hypocrisy is something that's valid to leave, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, then I asked you in yeah. response to that, do men and women play by the same set of rules? And you said no. No. So therefore, how can one be a hypocrite if we don't play by the same set of rules? I give you an example. Mm -hmm. Let's say he tells you, I expect you to be faithful to me, but I want to have another wife or I want to have another woman. Um, you might look at that and say that's hypocritical, but realistically speaking, men and women aren't the same. So a man that can attract a bunch of women is a higher status guy by some regard. Mm -hmm. A woman that can attract a bunch of men, well, she's just a regular chick because there's no skill in attracting men as a woman. But there's a lot of skill in attracting women as a man. That's very true. I actually had that conversation with someone that I look up to and that so person. So can hypocrisy really be uh, a reason to leave a man? For example, if he wants to walk out the house with the shirt on, that's one thing. But if he tells you not to walk out the sh house with the shirt on, that's a bit, that's a different thing. Right. That is hypocritical in theory, but it makes practical sense. It does make practical sense. So can hypocrisy really be a valid reason to leave? For me, yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> For me personally. Incredible. Uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like it, it, it's there's levels to it, my love. I mean, I, mean, it, I just demonstrated two examples. I understand, where, but there's like levels to it. It's not a shirt. It's then like, give me an example of where hypocrisy would okay, be Okay, like a valid if you know what my uh, situation is emotionally, like with my family, like where I stand in, the, in life, in the world, where, what, I, what I've projected to be up till this point, and... You don't care about my mental health, and then I'm caring about your mental health, even if you have a hundred fucking women. Well, who controls what's in their brain? 
No, but you should know if you love that person to death, like you say that you would. Mm-hmm. I, you should. There should be a mutual, like mutual understanding. Yeah, but who's in control of their emotions and ultimately in control of yeah, their brain? Yeah, we are. So like, why is he responsible for that? No, but if I care about that person, it should be like equal. What yeah. should be equal? The love that you like put into the relationship, and like if I care about your mental health, you and I are dating, and I care so much about your mental health. Men and, and women show love differently, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that's why it's like never we're never going to agree. Like we're always going <laughs> to disagree because you guys are built different. I wish to see you born into he this world. He shows you love by you being able to be a stay-at-home mom. No Facts. That's how men show love. And that's kind of the issue here is that, you know, women... I work. We, the, 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 the reality is that, you know, there is hypocrisy in male and female relationships, but that's because we are different. There's things that I can do that you can't and vice versa. So if I tell you something, right, hey, don't do this, Mm -hmm. but I go ahead and do it as a man, well, we're not the same. And I have a level of authority over you where I can do what I want and you're supposed to listen to what I say. And I know women don't like hearing that sometimes, but if you want a breadwinner, you want a leader, you want a dominant man, a guy that tells you what it is and you want that type of dude, which all women do, by the way, the weirdos don't. that's just what comes with the territory. You better be ready for some hypocrisy. Right, but you need to have the man that could like put you into that submissive mode and like in a graceful, beautiful way, not like bitch. You know, so, so, so. <laughs> like I would Correct. love a man to come in and make me feel like a feminine woman, not put me into the masculine. Well, he way. can't control how you feel. No, you guys have all the control over us. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So I can go in your mind and tell you feel this way. No, and then but you'll by feel your actions way. and the way that you treat me, the way that you dress, the way that you are, the way that you are with me, because you could be like that with a hundred women. But if the way that you are with me makes me feel like I can be in submissive mode, I'm going to submit. So he's going to do what he wants to do anyway. You're saying you want, you want it to be a smooth way, how he tells you to do it? I feel like it should be authentic. Yes. Like it should be authentic and it should be real. Like I don't want to be with someone that's just pretending that it's authentic. All right, something's going on there with, with yeah. your man's. That I don't know. Well, no, I mean, it's not my man's. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to. I mean, I feel like they're all agreeing, and I'm not. Yeah. I don't know these women. Not I'm necessarily. Well, not because, necessarily, right? Well, the reason why is because. Any. Yeah, everyone. Has I don't know if you noticed, but, but I do agree with what you're saying, and I know when that. When it came to valid people. reasons for a man to leave a woman, it was maybe one, two. But when it comes to valid reasons to leave a man, it's much easier <laughs> for them to come up with things, even arbitrary terms such as hypocrisy he doesn't understand my feelings or i feel a certain way and he's responsible for me feeling that way no which i always find interesting because the only person in control of their emotions is you but for some odd reason we put the blame on men but that's fine continue on with you uh what do you think is a valid reason for women to leave men i'm gonna say long-term goals okay um, can you define that right so you know five-year plan three-year plan where are we gonna be you know um Three years from now, what are your goals? Are Interesting. You, right. So if his long-term goals don't coincide with what you have envisioned, it's a valid reason to leave. Correct. Okay. What if I said your five-year priors were not attractive? You dated this fucking loser. You did this type of work, etc., and he disqualifies you. What would you? How would you feel about that? Is that fair? I mean, in theory, you know, um, it wouldn't necessarily be fair. I'm still here, right? I, I pulled you in. We're here together. We're in our relationship. What's happening moving forward? No, I'm just saying, I, I just find it interesting because you're saying like his five-year goals need to align with what you have envisioned, which is fair. You're interested in his future, which is typically how women tend to make select. But what I'm asking is, what if a guy turned around and said, well, I need your past five years of what you did or past 10 years, and he didn't like what you might have done for work, mm-hmm. how you po- pictures you might have posted on the internet. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that's valid on his end? No. Why not? It's in the past. <laughs> it's behind us. Wait, huh? We're looking forward. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. You just did the same thing for him. No, Bro. we're mm-hmm. looking forward. We're talking about futuristic. We're not talking about the past. So your past doesn't matter, but his future does. No, it's a, It's not even his past doesn't matter either. This is a brand new day. We're talking about tomorrow, not yesterday. All right, what if he was, uh, maybe, what if he sucked three before he got with you? Would Oof. you still be oh. with it? Would you still be okay with that? Damn, no. he'll never tell you. That's no, but what I... if he came out and he said it? Like, hey, listen, babe, just so you know, it was tough. I don't to make believe some money. you. Show me. Hold on, hold on. He showed a video. What now, mind you... you, now, I came from Atlanta, so that is literally a... Atlanta. That's a what? thing now. Yeah, yeah. You never know because yeah. there's transgenders I, I get that, but would you, over. But would you take that, would you accept that past if the guy told you I used to be... Mm. Mm-hmm. I would have to pray on that. Uh, so the past mm. does matter. I would accept that. See how the I past only matters it's when shit. it's in her best interest. Yeah. It doesn't matter when it's oh, no, in your best interest. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting.